And welcome back. Well, this Saturday, high school artists will display their work alongside professionals at the third annual Art in the Bird. We're already trying to buy it here off the table. I have claimed a piece already. I know, it's awesome. And here to tell us more about it are Duana Charrington and co-presidents of the Cedarburg Art Club. We have Carly uh, Dine, as well as Emily how do you say your last Geyser. name? Geyser. Geyser. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. There we go. Welcome all of you to the Morning Blend. So great Thanks to see you. Thanks for being there. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so much. Tell mm -hmm. us about this event. What's going on? This is our third annual Art in the Berg. Um, it is a fundraiser for the Fine Arts Boosters at uh, Cedarburg High School. And we raise funds for the Visual Arts Department as well as Instrumental and Vocal Music and the Theater Department at Cedarburg High School. Um, we have 75 artists in our um, field house this year. So it's much larger than last year. We were able to be with you last year and um, it's, the event has grown even larger and we've got fabulous artists in all different uh, venues. Well, it is neat. When you say 75 artists, these are 75 professional artists that mm -hmm. come and showcase their work along yes. with the students. Mm -hmm. It's just $3 to come into mm -hmm. the show. Mm -hmm. And then when you say visual arts, clearly we've got some examples here that we can share. But when you say visual arts, what is all included? Are these prints, paintings? Uh, what else? Um, the vendors in the, uh, in the fair will be all sorts of artists. So okay. there will be woodworkers, metal workers, jewelry, fabric arts, all sorts of things. Um, the girls can tell you about what the students have been doing as part of the art club. Well, let's talk about that cow right there. How cool is that? <laughs> so awesome. So what have you guys been doing and what's so this made of? In art club, we took um, some donated fabrics from McNabb and Resley. They donated all the fabrics to us. And then we just kind of like, you could basically go with like whatever you wanted to do. So there's like a cow here, there's an anchor mm -hmm. and then some flowers. I know someone made a robin and like a fox. So you could basically go like with whatever you wanted to go for. And it, they, lots of them turned out out. They look pretty good. Who are the <laughs> artists of the ones that you brought here on the table? Um, this one is actually mine. And then you did this? I did. Yeah. That is cool. awesome. <laughs> I mean, you got you. some really cool blue fabrics. I yeah. just love the way you put that together. So Thank here's you. the cloth one here, yeah. and then it's printed. And so then, yeah, they print them in like a bigger form, and then they have little tiny like cards. So the prints are going to be sold for seven, and then the cards will be sold for two. I just think that's so cool. You can buy this for seven dollars. Mm -hmm. It's based on this original piece, and then you can also buy greeting cards, yeah. blank mm -hmm. note cards. And yeah, exactly. Can, yeah. And who did the cow? Um, our art teacher did the car, uh, the cow. That is so <laughs> yeah. good. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's and so cool. We'd like to shout out to Digital Edge. Yeah, they were they our um, uh, um, vendors who actually did the photography and and uh, created the cards and the prints for us to sell. Um, and those proceeds will be going directly to the art club. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So why is it important to do this? You know, when you say you know the proceeds will go to the Fine mm -hmm. Arts Booster Club mm -hmm. and the art you know program things like that. Why is it important to raise money for this? The um, Fine Arts Boosters at Cedarburg High School give uh, monetary donations to each of our fine arts departments during the course of the year. With the um, economy the way that it is, schools have a lot harder time supporting the art departments in our schools. And in Cedarburg, it's very important to us to, we're an arty community, mm -hmm. and we love to support the arts at, in um, all of their different uh, venues. And um, so we do um, monetary donations, we give scholarships to kids to go to camps during mm -hmm. the summer to increase their knowledge and and they bring that back and share it with the other kids at school. Um, we have been able to bring in um, special artists to work with um, our music departments. Um, so just lots of different things that the, the Fine Arts Boosters do. And this is our major fundraiser of the year. I think it's so cool. I honestly did not get the whole support the arts movement until I had children of my own and they started bringing mm -hmm. art home. And mm -hmm. it's some of the things I framed are some of my favorite things mm -hmm. in my house. And mm -hmm. I, I wonder for you guys as students, what what it means to say create something like this mm -hmm. and then actually see it in print and on note cards. How does that make you feel? Yeah, I think that it feels like really good. It just it's super cool opportunity. It's yeah. cool that by using our artwork, we can really help benefit future students. So mm -hmm. I cool. love that. Mm -hmm. I yeah. think that's mm -hmm. so cool. And I, I do think like the, the part about self-expression, you know, like you'll hear some people say, oh, I'm not good at art. 
Well, it's wow. like that's yeah. one yeah. thing yeah. everybody. Or, yeah, yeah, it's one thing everybody mm-hmm. can be good at yeah. because mm-hmm. it's all about what you see and expressing mm-hmm. your, yeah, yourself. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I think that's so great. Mm-hmm. So okay, tickets are just three dollars per $3. person, yes. mm-hmm. and the first one, uh, three hundred and fifty people who come through the doors will get one of the um, cool mm-hmm. collectible tote bags mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, that we have here in um, our studio, and mm-hmm. it's green, which is really cool. And we're looking at other great examples mm-hmm. of work because it's not only students participating, but um, artists from all over mm-hmm. yeah. the Midwest will be mm-hmm. exhibiting their work, which is mm-hmm. fantastic. So thank you all so much yeah, for being you. here. Thank you. We're going to share the information because it's happening this Saturday from 10 until 4. It's this Saturday, March 7th. You can find out more by going to artintheburg.tumblr.com. And there again is the information so that you can check it out. And where is it that you're doing this? Is it at the school? It's yeah. at the school in okay. the field house. Awesome. Uh, the, the great big gym. So we're very <laughs> excited. So you got mm-hmm. Some space. Yeah. We've yeah. got lots of space. We, we grew it a lot this year, and we want to say thank you to Wild Birds Unlimited and to Fiddleheads for sponsoring us this year. That's awesome. great. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Thanks you great guys. Work. Thank yeah. you. Nice to meet all of you. We appreciate your time. Thank